Hey, welcome to Man Kitchen Recipes. I am Kevin, and today we're going to do some stuffed Cajun chicken wings. Yep, stuffed chicken wings. Check this out. All right, I learned this little trick from Patrick at Patty Joe Cooking. I'm going to use some onion, some yellow bell pepper, and a red bell pepper, all nice and diced up, just like that. We're going to add them to a bowl. I'm going to sprinkle some uh, olive oil on there, mix it up really good, and then I'm going to put them in a pan, and I'm going to grill these up in the uh, Z-Star 7-in-1 grill for, I set this for 8 minutes, but uh, actually I'm going a total of 10 minutes, uh, so we'll add 2 more minutes after this gets going. You just want to set this to uh, 350 degrees, and 8 minutes initially, we'll check them, but I think we're going to go 10. Okay, we've got our chicken wings here now you know these are actual chicken wings the whole wing usually when you buy wings you get the flat and the drummy which you know i mean that's two pieces of wing they're wing pieces that's a whole wing right there okay so you want to take your chicken wing i like to crack that bone right there in the middle between the uh, flat and the drummy you can get it cracked and then uh the little wing tip we're gonna cut the end off of there, so I kind of break it. Go above the knuckle a little bit, slice it down, get that off, and then you can see both bones right there. And then you wanna be careful, get your knife in there. I gotta get it under there and split. There's a, still a little tendon there holding the two together. And then just take your time, work your way around the bones. I know, yeah, it does take a little time, but just be patient, work around it, Get your knife in there. Be sure you don't slip. Be real careful when you're doing this and just work your way down in inside and work around each bone. Now the smaller bone, smaller bone is easier to get out. So we're going to just push down, cut a little bit of that meat down. Get your knife in there a little ways. And then you can uh, go ahead and just get a hold of this bone. Pull it. What I like to do is just twist it around a couple of times and then it comes out just like this. Nice and clean. Just like that. Now, if you've ever made a lollipop chicken drumsticks before, same concept. You just want to scrape the meat down the bone all the way down to where it connects to the uh, drummy. And just get your, get your knife in there. You can pull on it a little bit. You'll, you'll know when it's ready to come out. Sometimes you got to get your knife all the way down in there and try to get it cut away. You know, like I said, it's a little tedious, but, you know, hey, this is going to be worth it at the end. And uh, just like that, takes a few minutes per wing. And get that back in there. And then just kind of twist it and bend it and pop it right out. Just like that. Nice and clean. And there you go. You have a wing without the bones in the flat. I mean, in the flat. <laughs> All right, my uh, peppers and onions are done. After 10 minutes, I'm going to set these aside and let them cool. Okay. All right, we're going to do another wing. This one's in fast motion because it does take, it takes about three to four minutes to get one wing. So it takes a little bit. Trust me. You want to stick your finger down in that cavity. Make sure it's nice and open. And then that way, when you go to stuff it, it makes it a little uh, easier. Okay, the peppers and onions are nice and cool. Cool to the touch. And uh, let's get one of those wings. See, find that cavity right there. Make sure you've got a nice opening in there. All right, let me go wash my hands first. All right, so I'm going to add some cheese to this pepper and onion mix. This is the four cheese Mexican blend. You can add as much or as little as you want, or leave it out if you want. It doesn't matter. This is roughly, I added roughly a cup, maybe a little less. And then uh, what you got to do is get that chicken wing and find that opening right there. Kind of open it a little bit with your finger and then just start with a little bit with the peppers and get it started stuffing in there. And you want to stuff it all the way down in and uh, get that cheese in there. You want to keep pushing them in as hard as you can because you want them really stuffed in there. All right, and this does, you know, this all takes some time. So, you know, if you're gonna make these, make sure you got enough time. And just keep stuffing and stuffing until 
you get it stuffed and pressed in. Now look how fat that chicken wing is. It's stuffed nice and fat. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do it again. I will speed this up. Again, stick your finger in that hole right there and start stuffing it. Get it stuffed as much as you can in each lay, in each wing. And uh, all those peppers, I, I used up all of them, and there's only maybe enough for one more chicken wing. Okay, we've got these chicken wings stuffed. And once again, I'm going to use that Magic Marty that uh, Johnny at View to a Grill hooked me up with. This is a Cajun seasoning. So that's why we got the uh, stuffed Cajun wings. We're going to go on kind of heavy. This stuff's pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> Obviously, when you do something like this, you have to wash your hands a million times. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, get these right into my uh, tray over here. All right. There we go. We're going to get this in the Z-Star air fryer. We're going to use the air crisp uh, to cook these. So let's get them in there. Okay, once again, we're using the Z-Star 7-in-1 combo grill. That's what I uh, heated up those, uh, the veggies in. Set that in there like that. Look at those. Oh, man, these are going to be good. All right, so up here on the top, we are going to pick um, Air Crisp. Whoops, got to turn it on first. Air Crisp. And 20 minutes. That should be about right. Anywhere from 18 to 20 minutes, and we're gonna hit uh, play. The play button right there. Halfway through, let's see what they got. Look at that. All right, let's get these flipped. Okay, still looking pretty darn good. This one here might be losing a little cheese, but that's all right. We got 10 more minutes. Uh, actually, nine minutes. It took me a minute to get over here. Star says it's time. Oh, look at those. Man. It's pretty exciting. Let's get these out of here. Look at that. Oh, look at that. There's the stuffing in that one. Look at those. All right. All right. I know you're curious because I did make a huge mess out of this. Uh, the uh, Z Star Seven and One. Look at that. Wipes right off. That was that burnt on cheese. Now this can go into the uh, dishwasher if you want. You don't want to deal with it. Throw it in the dishwasher. Okay. This is the other tray that was underneath it. That too comes right clean. Take all the big chunks off. Piece of cake. Like I said. If you don't want to wash them, you can just throw these right in the dishwasher. I prefer to wash them because I might want to use this again before I run my dishwasher. All right. See there? All right. They cooled off a little bit. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's cut into one of these first. That one's leaking. Look at that. Let's cut into this one right here. This here was the wing, right? Oh, look at that. How about that? Okay, stuffed Cajun wings. Let's taste this. All right, what do you think of that, huh? Let's get that one that's got the, uh, that I cut open, look at that. Stuffed with bell peppers, onions, and uh, cheddar, uh, four cheese, Mexican blend cheese. On that little Z-Star right there, that's a seven to one indoor grill. Look for the uh, coupon code and where to get one down below. Here we go. Hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hmm. I'm going to tell you. Yes, it's a little bit of a pain to get the bones out to stuff these, but it's well worth it. Once I get done with this part, I still got the drum part right down here. Mm. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for checking this out. I really appreciate it. If you uh, 
take your time and feel like having these. They're well worth it. You can stuff these with just about anything you want. Today was Cajun seasoning. That Magic Marty that uh, Johnny over at View to the Grill, View to a Grill, hooked me up with. And, uh, you know, we might be stuffing more wings later on. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. So good. All right. Don't forget to come back. Have a great day.